CEO Pelican Valley Limited, Dr. Babatunde Adeyemo, has said that federal government can only achieve its estimated 28 million housing units to provide adequately for the Nigerian population through collaborative efforts of public-private partnership. Recall that Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, the country's housing deficit is currently at 28 million units as of January 2023. This means that 28 million people or more are homeless. According to Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, estimated amount of 21 trillion will be needed to finance this deficit and with a growing population of 200 million Nigerians, the current deficit is extremely high. Dr. Adeyemo suggested that the government cannot address the challenge alone, that only a collaboration between the government and private sector players will be adequate. To have access, you know, to use for education, infrastructure, uh, housing, it will be very, very difficult. That is why we go on cap in hand looking for loans all around. You know, and these loans are even become too uh, excessive and uh, 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 unbearable. So there is uh, a need for the government to think out of the box. You know, bring in private investors. You understand? Encourage them. You know, there is no way. Economy is just like a prostitute that everyone will come and take advantage of. That's that supposed to be for the benefit of the of the masses. In as much the advantage, we're taking that advantage to add value to the economy, to enhance liquidity. You know, when there's liquidity, there's liquid in this in circulation. It brings about uh, jobs. It brings about you know uh, a better life for the for the people generally. Then the infrastructure will be will be upgraded. Dr. Adeyemo said fixing the economy is very important, thereby calling on the government to provide an enabling environment through incentives such as tax concession and the elimination of bureaucratic bottlenecks in the land administrative system. Governments will not subsidize the price of cement. Governments will have the power to subsidize, uh, subsidize the price of uh, the cost of labor, the cost of iron, the cost of sand. You know, so if those commodities are very, very expensive, how do you expect housing to be to be affordable and cheap? You know, it will be extremely difficult. You know, because and um, the government itself cannot use the old budget that uh, she's supposed to use for the infrastructure, health, education, and put it in housing. You know, the other uh, uh, departments will collapse. So we really need to work on the economy and it's very very important the government works on the economy.